you're gay or you're a drug dealer or whatever it is that's your preference, that is what qualifies you to come for grace. And if you come to Christ, He will forgive you of your sins and make you a new creature in Christ. All, no matter what their sin, who come to Christ shall be saved from that sin, no matter what it is. So don't cancel people out because it's a specific kind of sin. Those people need Him too. Those people need Him too. Give a count. 
testimony of life. Every word, every deed, every thought will be shown before God. You'll not, you will not be exempt. My friends, 150,000 people die every single day. What is your life? It's even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. So what are you willing to sell your soul for? What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? What will you give exchange for your soul on Judgment Day? How will he escape the wrath of God as you neglect such a great salvation in Jesus Christ? Spread your life to Jesus today. Is anyone being Christ? He's a new creature. All things pass. All things become new through Jesus Christ. So we're out here today to herald the word of God to tell you there's good news for sinners. There's good news. Your sins can be forgiven through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. See, my friends, time is short. What are you going to do when you stand before God and give account of your life? You're limiting up self-serving, limiting up. But my friends, your soul will be required on Judgment Day. Jesus said, don't be afraid of the one that can destroy your body and do nothing. Fear the one that can destroy your body and throw your soul into hell. Which, that's when Jesus spoke in front of the greatest multitude in the Bible. You can read it in Luke 11. The time is short. You know, this message might anger many of you. The Bible says preaching of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But just know this, we come out of your love. We're not pushing a church. We're not telling you to go to church for tithes. We're telling you about the Savior, Jesus Christ. This, you can have a relationship through Jesus Christ when your sins have separated you from God. You need a mediator. And there's only one mediator between man and God. And that's Christ Jesus the man. Humble yourself. God resists the proud. He gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit yourself to God. Humble yourself today. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. And purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament, mourn, and weep. Let your laughter turn to mourning. And your joy turn to gloom. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And he will lift you up. He will lift you up. The problem is that many of you that have been here over two days now, and many of you believe in a fairy tale called evolution. In this fairy tale, the Bible clearly says the fool in his heart says there is no God. The Bible says, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness. For men suppress the truth and unrighteousness, because what is known of God is manifested in them. For God has shown it to them. From the time the world was created, people have seen the earth and the sky and all that God created. See His invisible qualities, eternal power, and His divine nature. There's no excuse not knowing God. The Bible says, although they knew God, they did not glorify Him as God, nor were thankful. Who became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Vested to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into image of corruptible men, and birds, and four-footed animals, and creepy things, worshiping the creation, not the creator. Therefore God gave them over to vile passion, even their women exchanged their natural use. For what is against nature? Likewise also men, leaving the natural use of women, burned their lust for another. Men with men committing what is shameful and receiving themselves the penalty of the error. But I'll get some shots with this. And then for this reason God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things that are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality. Wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil mindedness, backbiters, haters of God, violence. And this is what we see. We see this constantly. Haters of God, violent, adventures of evil things, disobedient to their parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knew the righteous judgment of God. The Bible says that those who practice such things are deserving of death. Not only to do the same, but also practice those. Sir, you're mocking God. The God that holds his breath, your breath in his hands, you're going to stand before. One day, my friend, the game will be over. 
the game will be over, it'll come to an end. And you'll see the wrath of God. The Bible says it's a terrifying thing to fall in the hands of a living God. It's a terrifying thing. The Bible says that God is a consuming fire that will make you as a blazing oven at the time of his anger. The Lord will swallow you up with his wrath and the fire will devour you on judgment day, sir. You're mocking. But one day it will be over in the wrath of God. I love you enough to tell you the truth, sir. You need to repent. Spend your life to Jesus Christ. The air in your lungs is a gift from God. Sir, one day it will be over, sir. One day it will be over. I pray you get right with God. Repent. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ. The Bible says enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many will enter in by it. Because narrow is the gate, difficult is the way that leads to life. And very few will ever find it. You see, you love your sin more than you love God. The Bible says that we love the dark and hate the light. And he, he who loves the dark and hates the light, the wrath of God will bite on you, sir. Time is short. You know, many of you come out here thinking you're having a good time, enjoying the alcohol, getting intoxicating, having premarital sex. You're just storing up wrath for the day of wrath before God. You're storing up wrath for the day of wrath before a holy God. The good news is God demonstrated his love for us. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Much more to be justified by the blood, we shall be saved from wrath on judgment day through Jesus Christ. So, my friends, God will not be mocked. God will not be mocked. God has appointed men once to die, and then there is a judgment. Call on Jesus today and repent for your trust. Throw down the alcohol. Come out of the bars and read your Bible and friend your life to Jesus. God bless you.